Hello! Ow! Hello, Exolos, you little cloth wearers, you little fabric dressers, you walking closets. And I don't mean this kind. So I'm sure a lot of you probably know what clothes are. You've probably worn them at least once or twice in your life. I'd hope. It's estimated that clothing might have originated a hundred thousand years ago. And over time, the little leaves and fabrics we drooped into our body evolved into what can be a representation or an expression of our style, as well as our identity. Now, I used to want to be a fashion designer. I drew all these complex looking clothes. Are they practical? No. Are they comfortable? No. Do they look like a fever dream that happened after taking 10 pounds of magical powder? Yes. So basically, it was fashion show material. Despite my aspirations for style, however, I tended to just dress like this. I decided when I was 13 that I just wasn't made for fashion. As long as I wasn't butt cheek naked, I was good to go. I told myself at the time that fashion and looking good was something that 18 year old me could deal with. So therefore, I am 18 now. And I have no idea what I'm doing. And uh, I think uh, that shows because of this in this comment I got. The fact that she never needed to dress good in her videos show how confident she is. However, I'd like to change that. I want to be a fashionista. I want to be that guy on your Pinterest feed, the same post in your Instagram board. So when my friends invited me up for a three-day trip to the big city, I hastily agreed and put together my plan. So I had like a bunch of clothes, but I was too lazy to put them on to see if they worked well with each other. So I decided to draw them all instead. Mmm, bald. Yes, this is clearly, this is clearly the easier method. <laughs> First day! Outfit number one was prepared. Hi, don't mind the bad lighting. We should be used to bad quality by now on this channel. So I have this blue shirt, okay? And I'm thinking wearing this white, like, over thing. Alright, we're good. And now my problem is that I don't have anything at the bottom to go with it. The only, like, dark colored shorts I have is this one. And it's from my school. It's my school's PE shorts. Then I had an idea. I've got these trousers since I was 12, and I'm thinking, I'm not a sewer, but I'm thinking, what if I just amputated it DIY? Have I watched any video on how to like mend pants? No, I haven't. <laughs> do I have a pair of scissors? Yes, I do. Oh, this actually looks quite fine long, but oh no, 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 not feet, no feet reveal. You. Ow, ow! But I'm still gonna cut it because I can. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay. How are we looking? Oh no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no, can you see? Oh no. Well, what do we think? <laughs> so let's just not zoom in on like these. No one will notice. No one will notice. If they are, then why are they staring at my knees for weirdos? We have this casual summer looking outfit with a pastel blue t-shirt to match with the dark navy blue shorts that I made. There's a white outer layer shirt to this to elevate the look. I don't know what any of these words mean by the way, I'm just copying next in fashion. And to match the youthful breezy appearance, I put on this egg beret! The best purchase I've ever made! You want, if you want compliments on any article of clothing you're wearing, get this egg beret. Get it. You could be wearing a Met Gala outfit and the egg beret will still somehow get the most compliments. I wore this to the train station where me and my friends all met up. We were headed off to the big city where our journey would begin. I saved a bunch of pose references on Pinterest before this uh, so I could learn the perfect pose that would get all the IG question mark comments <laughs> The first 
last photo I tried to replicate was this one. My friend had a digital camera, so we borrowed that for this. We couldn't do it exactly like the image, but she managed to take this nice picture of me looking off into the distance like I'm in a music video. Funnily enough, I actually ended up liking this photo more than the actual photo she took. So thank you, Pinterest reference image. Some extra notes because I filmed a bit on the train. Here's some cool videos of the scenery. Here's me eating the overpriced spaghetti sold on the train. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to get sued for anyone choking on how long they are. After that, we arrived at our Airbnb. Here was my favorite three photos taken in this outfit, which I posted to my Instagram. And guess what? Boom! User Hype Swan told me this is so Pinterest hashtag slay. And their profile picture is Tamaki from Oron High School Host Club wearing a frog head. Therefore, they know what fashion means. Your opinion is irrelevant. Here were the saved counts compared to my usual saved counts of other photos. And thus came the end of outfit number one. Outfit number two was a classic white button up shirt with long black pants and a tie to tie it all together. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to do this half tuck in look because I see it a lot on Pinterest, yet when I did it, I simply looked like Carl from elementary school who couldn't figure out how to tuck his shirt in properly. The first thing I did when wearing this intimidating outfit was to check the Airbnb for secret cameras. And just in case there was one, I would pretend to find it just so I can throw the person watching off. I didn't take any pictures when I was out wearing this, but I did wear this whole fit again, plus a blazer, recently to watch the Dominions movie. I ended up being the only one who wore a whole suit there because my friend didn't have a blazer. And when I was trying to take a picture with the posters of the Minion show, these two kids kept photobombing me, and I couldn't just tell them to get the frick out because it's the Minions movie and I'm 18 years old. So that's a humiliation I'll be taking to my grave. A uh, positive side of this though was that the photos I posted were very well received actually. The reception was quite positive, to say the least. Perhaps a bit too positive. Looks like it's that time of the month again. It's time for the 90 second promotion of the big daddy of this channel. Can I say that? Yeah, I can, I can say that. NordVPN! NordVPN allows you to access regionally locked websites with great ease. If you're not new to this channel, you'd know I've been using NordVPN for about over a year now, and it's come in handy a huge amount of times. If I can't open the link or website I really need, turning on NordVPN is always the solution. Take that, Malaysia. I'm Canadian now. Now let me procrastinate more by watching all the movies. Besides that, NordVPN also helps protect your data by preventing unwanted data collection. Companies tend to track your online footsteps in order to predict which types of ad they want to serve you, which might be unsettling if you have scandalous searches in your hands. NordVPN helps reduce that through anonymizing your web traffic. Think of it this way. Here's your data with NordVPN. And here's your data without. If all this interests you, you can get the exclusive NordVPN deal in the link below using my code for lean swag. It's got a 30 day money back guarantee so there's no harm in trying it out. Now let's go on to the video. Day 2 and outfit number 3. Now today's outfit I was most excited about. Yo, girl. If I was your boyfriend, never let you go. She's wearing high heels. No, I'm not! No. I'm not! My friend told me she was going for a school student look today, therefore I decided to join her. The school uniform aesthetic is extremely ironic to me because it's built up an entire genre for itself on Pinterest and it's quite popular in Malaysia too for high school students. However, our school uniforms look like this! Yeah, I don't understand the neon blue apron either. I don't know why we look like we're about to bake a cake for Smurfs. I had this Kuromi sweater vest on which has got to be one of my favorite purchases on Shopee. The one blazer off the shoulder looked fine from the front but again kind of fumbled at the back. Here I was trying to do a fit check but I felt so awkward about asking my friends to take videos of me posing. So I just I just started walking backwards in an eerily rounded corridor. Why does that corridor? Why is the corridor round? The trip was simple, we headed off to an escape room and I took opportunity of the rainy weather to take this full body picture. Which you can't see the weather in, but uh, we're ignore that. 
In this set of pictures, I wanted to create a kind of indie kid core aesthetic that filled my Pinterest feed a lot back then. I used prequel to add the filter that's just saturated everything up. I'm not sure how I feel about the orangey skin tone, but I do like how popping the yellow lines became. I posted this image of just the outfit on Twitter, and lo and behold, success number two. Anthony! What are your pronouns? What are your pronouns, Anthony? So I can respectfully compliment you on inflating my ego. Any pronouns? Okay, Anthony, the any pronouncer. She said, Feline, you just became the one person from the Pinterest feed. Congratulations. Hell yeah, I did. Thank you, Anthony. It worked. I've mathed the math. I've become the Pinterest. I didn't know. I didn't know what. I didn't know what to put for the caption. Ignore that. Side quest. I also want to do a little clothes shopping in H and M. And by clothes shopping, I mean putting on clothes, crying in the changing rooms, and then returning them. I tried on this dress that my friends described to me as the kaka dress. To be honest, I do not know how to feel. The top and the sleeves are pretty cute, but this part, like this part, has a bit of action going on that probably could have sat on the bench a bit. I think it's a nice dress, and I'm just built like a wooden door. But I did end up getting this sleeveless top, which I thought looked mighty cool. Before we move on to day three, I gotta say, I gotta, I gotta vent. Okay, I gotta hashtag trauma dump here for a second on you guys. I had one of the most embarrassing experiences of my life, wearing this outfit. We walked past this cafe in the mall that advertised this seafood risotto that looked so good it looked so good i'm having a risotto phase right now i don't know why and since my friends and i were planning on getting supper i decided that we should go to this chicken shop instead for dinner shame 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 and get this risotto later for supper risotto the full meal that takes quite a bit of time to cook in a ca in a cafe until 9 p.m. In a mall that closes at 10. To be def in my defense, I didn't realize how dumb that was at the time. I was already feeling kind of stupid when we walked in because I realized that they definitely don't have it. But I braved it. I asked them straight in the face, do you have the risotto? He told me no. So I panicked. I was like, do you have the, <laughs> do you have the spaghetti then? And he said no. And this kind of went on for four times. Until it dawned on me that this <laughs> it's 9 fucking p.m. To prevent awkwardness, I ended up just ordering a cookie that costed 7 ringgit Malaysia. So I was expecting those big cookies. I... Here's what came. This. This is 7 ringgit. And when the way I put it down, I audibly was like, what? <laughs> I made sure to lick every single crumb and the waitress was just staring at me as I <laughs> And it became 8 ring in Malaysia after service tech <sighs> I blame the Italians Day 3 came along next which meant outfit number 3 What? Day 3 came along next which meant it was time for the last outfit Outfit number 4 <laughs> actually bought these pants the day before since I knew this color would look good with this outfit but I just didn't have any pants that look similar to it since I needed more pants anyways I decided to just go on a hunt and this was the result of that it was the last day of our trip so we decided to end it on a peaceful note psych we went back i went back to that cafe i went back to that italian cafe and i ordered the risotto i looked at the same waiter in the eyes i ordered the risotto i enjoyed every last bite of it i will not be stopped I get what I desire. I didn't take any Pinterest worthy pictures to post besides these possible ones. Here's a photo sequence of me being absolutely stunned by the pen choices. Okay, look. This one looks like it's got its skull cracked open and it's bleeding to death. This one looks like it's going through multiple diseases. Where else is that? This one is just this one is just ugly. This one watches you sleep at night. Oh my god! <laughs> we ended the day with McDonald's and it was onto the train we go back home. 
I found this open window in the bathroom which doubled as a hairdryer 10 out of 10 functionality and ergonomics. Ignore all the bacteria infesting my follicles from this. Our final conclusion to this experiment of Pinterest drip was this email I received shortly after those two posts asking me where I got my clothes from. The nice thing is like specific parts of the clothes that I got a lot of compliments for, the egg beret, the kuromi sweater, they are all relatively cheap and can be found on Shopee which is in a constant state of sales for some reason. I realized that the clothes I wear factor in a lot of confidence for me personally. I actually felt more motivated to get up than go outside when I dressed up. I know a lot of people aren't as lucky to be able to dress however they want or afford whichever clothing they like, so I want to make sure I acknowledge how lucky and privileged I am to be able to do that. I'm not just gonna be like, hey you, go buy all these clothes right now if you are sad, it will, it will cure your sadness. I'm gonna start learning how to style myself more because I want to start my own clothing line. Uh, sometime in the future. So I hope you enjoyed this little experimenting. With that being said, I'll kiss your mom. Love ya. Bye. Bye. Bye bye.